ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Let's Play Control. This game came out in 2019, and it's a third-person shooter developed by Remedy Entertainment, who, in my humble opinion, makes some of the best entries in the genre. I've, uh, done Let's Plays of four of their games, personally, and I had a great time with each one, which is actually kind of the reason we're here. We're, uh, celebrating an anniversary today. Not the game's anniversary, it actually came out in August, and as I said, it's only, like, three years old, so that's not really a milestone you traditionally celebrate. But, uh... No, we're here to celebrate one of my anniversaries. You see, the very first time I ever stepped in a Remedies world was on March 26th, 2012, when the first episode of Let's Play Alan Wake went live. <laughs> and I thought I would celebrate the occasion by playing Remedy's latest work. Before we begin, I would like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get some readings on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. I'd also like to give a very special shout-out to my good friend Seiki, who gifted me this game. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while now. And even not really knowing where this is going, I can't wait to get started. So thank you, Seiki. I hope you enjoy this series, because it's dedicated to you. Now without further ado, Let's play Control. No more warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. It's something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, Sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. 
and the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Well, some of that made sense to me. Some of it. Whoa, you can actually see the, uh... The shimmery. Oh, I don't think I should be looking straight at that for too long. Um... Yeah, there's a reason for that. Um... I don't know the story of this. I saw the... The concept... In a preview article. It's, uh... Well, the Federal Bureau of Control... How do I describe this? Uh... Oh, fuck it, I'll just be straightforward about it. The writers have apparently acknowledged that the Federal Bureau of Control was heavily inspired by an archive of uh, internet creepypasta known by the collective name the SCP Foundation. The, uh, it's set up like the research notes of, uh... This big evil organization that goes around the world in secret, obtaining all kinds of supernatural bullshit and locking it up in their facilities so they can study its anomalous properties. You know, creatures, artifacts, locations. The acronym stands for Secure, Contain, Protect. As if they actually gave a shit about the public good. Hopefully the Bureau is less, um, openly malevolent. That is a weird way to frame a picture. See, so yeah, when I'm thinking, I'm saying, I notice that you see something weird when you stare at the logo. Maybe I shouldn't be looking at that. Maybe it has effects. Oh. Well, of course, there were frame rate jags that weren't there in the uh, testing. Pardon me a moment. Hey, sorry about that. Just made a minute adjustment. Uh, oh. Ah, yes, getting a bit of trouble here with the controller. I don't know what's up with that. Ah, there we go. I had to unplug, unplug it and plug it back in again. Something about switching back and forth between uh, keyboard and mouse controls and controller controls is, uh, kind of fucky. Which is not, I would say, ideal for a game called Control. I wanted to note that there's a, uh... Electric typewriter here? I saw no reason to believe that this game didn't take place in uh, 2019. Security check. Oh, yeah. Remove outerwear. Empty pockets and remove metals. Place contents into bins, and when directed by security staff, proceed through metal detector. Uh, I'll just swing it. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Oop! Correspondence. Prohibited items reminder. Federal Bureau of Control reminder! Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons. Pagers. Laptops. Smart watches. Smart phones. Smart gaming devices. Anything smart. Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconal, iconic representations of an archetypal concept, e.g., rubber ducks and ketchup bottles. Oh God, yeah, this is, yeah this seems like a place where supernatural bullshit occurs. All material under in bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. I thought it, said, it still said there was one unread, so. Okay, that would explain the t uh, typewriter, actually. Something here likes computers in a bad way. Is that mine? No. Why is that just left there? Oh. Hello? Fuck. Internal lockdown effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Building lockdown effect. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. 
Oh, joy. I love that. There's no mechanism on that hinge. It just opened by itself. Okay, I'm not enjoying that. I did want to look at that, uh... Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. wonder if he's related to uh, Dr. Veronica Darling from Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. How did I remember that so quickly? Our bureau at work. I was wondering about this. This is going to be way more important than it seems, isn't it? That's when we signed the intro director, Zachariah Trench. He's got kind of a young Rip Torn thing going on. Well, the other one had some stuff inside of it, so let's look over there. Sprint! This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. So I guess I don't work here. What the fuck am I doing here? Bureau expenditures. Expenditure summary, executive sector, Q2. Major, staffing, surveillance, redacted. Data center, initiative. Construction, redacted, redacted. Minor, office equipment, janitorial costs, redacted. Mold removal, AHQ, livability costs. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5. For five-year comparison chart, see page 9. Oh, dear. Now the controller is messing up again. What is up with that? All right, I... I've never actually encountered that mistake before. I just played Super Liminal from beginning to end the other day, and I never had a single problem with the controller, so it's probably the game. Although my preliminary searches for, uh... you know, issues with this are sort of hampered by the fact that the game is called Control. And that makes the searches very confusing. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Bathroom. Well, aside from having unusually narrow toilet seats, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, except for the lack of mirrors, and I could write that off to the fact that video game developers don't like making working mirrors. That seems all standard. Which makes sense, we're in the front fucking lobby. You can literally just walk in off the street. Of what I'm going to assume is New York City, because Remedy really liked New York. What are those red things everywhere? I thought the first one was a fucking thermos, like from Alan Wake. I thought she was leaning against the glass. She looked leaning for a moment there, but I guess it was just the idle animation. Yeah, that's a wall. Moron. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Office rules of conduct. Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drink around bureau documents or in the copy room. No using the photocop here for personal pro- Okay, fine. This all seems... Uh, actually fairly normal. Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. That's a bit new. I spoke too soon. Food left in the refrigerator in containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Socks and ballerinas don't bring dogs into the office. Some new people in the oldest house. Remember to wash your hands, your hands can spread the mold, and I think the joke is that there's a dot of mold in the middle of that picture. Huh. Okay. torn between the urge to drink in every single detail I can find and the urge to speed through this as fast as I can because I'm excited to play the game. Can't find your office? Watch your step. Rangers from security department? Thought that was a laptop for a moment. 
Ooh, this is bleaker than the no-name brand packaging. Seriously, there's a brand in Canada called No Name. I recommend you look it up. I heard an American friend describe it as looking dystopian. Security order. Federal Bureau of Control, attention all redacted. A shark in his, although secure, permission to, following basic protocol, shoot to kill. Good luck. Okay, this isn't going to be one of those games. I can already tell this isn't going to be one of those games where the uh, protagonist is aware of the lore you're finding. You know, they have to set it up in case someone was so dumb that they missed all of it and that they can still understand the game. Because if it was one of those games where they respond, she just would have gone, The fuck? An audio log machine. 90s ass TV. Do I have a flashlight or anything? Oh god. What the fuck? Ah, that's the oh, which shoulder button. Well, I guess I didn't bring a flashlight with me into this building. Where am I going? Well, the loading screen tip said look for green lights, so... Hello? Yeah, that's not a weird coincidence at all. Hello? Sorry about that. Jeez. Live demo, folks. Just like uh, Spyro did that one time, game just alt tabbed on its own. Hey, excuse me. It's like it knows that this is an important day for me, so it's uh, throwing little tiny wrenches in. Not enough to stop me. Just enough to make the anxiousness worse. Excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. I can tell. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. And... Like I said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. And we have ourselves a mind reader, because that was fucking internal monologue right there. Seek shelter. Oh, uh, Ronan Drake says hi. When I mentioned I was going to be starting this, all he said was, Tell Ati I said hi. He's good about not spoiling things. Gaming magazine in this place that doesn't allow electronics. Sure, sure. That makes sense. Same one. But this isn't the same area because the painting of the guy is gone. The guy we just met. Oh boy. The cell and the poster. Pretty sure she's talking I was about uh oh. years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Hmm. Will you help? Nah. Oh, all right. I've got nothing better to do. Well, I'm going to be pouring over these in the recordings later. Oh, OK. 
Okay, this is already getting weirder than Max Payne's weirdest hallucinations. All right. Did I lose you there for a moment? No, not really. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Jeez. I have switched to mouse and keyboard control. I'm going to turn the mouse sensitivity down because when I got out of the uh, elevator, the controller was acting fucky. Again. Alrighty. Oldest house. Discovered August 1st, 19... Or sorry, August 4th, 1964. Discovered. Oh, that's funny. Now waiting to serve the one... Yeah, the neighbor of the beast, I think they call that. Oop. Not thermoses. So if I don't work here, whoa! Why did you do that? That was on the inside of that a second ago. Entered, assume. Great. Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, re. Drafting any public-facing material. When penning any notices or notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrase to use. In the service of his, her country. Regret. Proud slash pride. Will be remembered. Words, phrases to avoid. Alaska. Scissors. Blood, bleed. Loss. Apologies, sorry. Wow, that's really ominous, and I hate that there's a memo reminding the people about this, because that suggests that whatever the fuck Willow is, it kills a ton of people! Uh, I do know that one of the DLC chapters is just titled A-W-E. Ah, uh, Written in all caps like that. Wait. Missions. Proceed deeper into the Bureau. Jesse Faden arrives at the oldest house, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, to look for answers to the mysteries of her childhood. Well, it's nice to meet you, Jesse, even if the circumstances are a bit... unusual. But, uh... The timer has gone. So while this hasn't been the most action-packed introduction, I'm going to call it here. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Control, when we proceed deeper into the Bureau, and uh, continue exploring the open- the oldest house. Not the open house, it's something entirely different, and probably far more benign. <laughs> Later!